Cool. So, uh, hey everyone, uh, I'm Millen. Uh, let's see, I graduated Columbia in May uh, and I was part of CSI all four years. I was co-president, I think, 2017 or so. I don't remember, but um, anyway, yeah. So I was part of the uh, Matthew Isaacowitz Fellowship Program, which is like uh, one of the two main um, kind of aerospace fellowship programs. The other is the Brooke Owens Fellowship uh and myself and leon will be talking about uh both programs leon do you want to introduce yourself yeah sure hey guys um good to see some familiar faces but i mean there every year it's it's fewer and fewer people i recognize uh but anyway um yeah i was involved in tsi well i should say i also graduated uh this may um and uh, i'm actually starting my phd or i've started my phd at uh upenn now but uh, yeah, I studied Mechi and graduated this May. Um, and I was involved with CSI also all throughout uh, my four years, or I guess five years. Um, I took a year off and uh, happy to talk about um, interning and, and taking a year off internship if anyone's interested. But um, yeah, I was president. Um, I also don't remember when exactly, but uh, yeah, I was, I was president at some point. Uh, and yeah, I was part of it. I would, uh, was part of the MIFP fellowship in 2018. Uh, so hope I can share some of my experiences. Uh, it's an awesome program. Awesome, so yeah, so we'll start with uh, talking about the Matthew Isaacwitz fellowship program and then we'll talk about uh, Brooke Owens uh, after that. So um, just starting out, you know, Matthew is, is who inspired the program, um, really amazing uh, individual um, kind of really great. He had a, a number of different great um, kind of experiences across uh, the space industry. You can see him there uh, with Elon Musk uh, in that middle picture. Um, and he did a lot of amazing things and had a, I think the biggest thing is he had a, a great impact on, on kind of everybody um, who he came across. And so um, the fellowship is, is kind of in, in his memory. Um, so the, the fellowship has four different main um, kind of aspects and so uh, first and foremost is the internship so everybody does an internship at um, kind of one of the commercial space companies that are up and coming or, or just that the ones that everybody knows about so places like SpaceX and Blue Origin and uh, myself I interned at Planet um, but I think there's a lot of other kind of cool aspects of the fellowship program it's not just an internship so um, there's awesome mentorship so everybody's paired up with um, really kind of a, a leader in the commercial space industry. Uh, myself, I had Jeff Mamber, who is the CEO of Nanorex. Uh, really, really amazing, uh, kind of cool person. Um, and then generally there's a summit uh, in person in LA. Uh, ours this past year was of course, uh, of course virtual, um, but still it was, it was an awesome experience. And then, um, you know, just networking, getting to meet all the different fellows who are doing amazing things. Um, across the industry in, in policy and in engineering. Some are starting their own companies. And it's it's uh, really cool to, to have met a bunch of these people. Um, so here, here are a number of the different um, kind of host companies. Uh, these change slightly year to year. So these are the 2021s. Um, I think 2021 will look you know, pretty much the same, maybe a few additions and, and maybe um, some of these companies won't be there, but you know, for the most part, as you can see, these are kind of like the top companies um, that all of us kind of want to work at and, and kind of provide amazing, um, I guess, inroads into the commercial space industry. And so, um, yeah, really, really cool. So I, I guess I mentioned that my mentor was Jeff Mamber. Leo, do you want to talk about who yours was and, and that experience? Yeah, my mentor was Joe Landon, uh, who is at Lockheed Martin now. He was actually CFO at Planetary Resources, uh, but yeah, it's no longer a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, Joe, having that connection with um, like an industry like Titan, um, one of these people is super valuable. Um, I would say, yeah, I, um, I mean, what this relationship is what you make out of it. So um, yeah, depending on who your person is, um, you know, just making sure to be in contact and um, asking lots of questions is, is, has been pretty valuable for me, yeah. Cool, also, also uh, Leon, do you wanna talk about the in-person summit? Cause I guess I didn't really 
and then have an in-person one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. So for uh, one, uh, let's see, is it? Um, so in 2018, there was an in-person summit, and we did not get Buzz Aldrin or, or Elon Musk. This was not my year. Um, this was uh, the next year. Um, but uh, it was still a, a really fantastic um, experience. Basically, they uh, flew in all the fellows uh, for one day in the uh, during the summer um, near the end of the internship, um, and uh, we specifically did this kind of like pitch activity um, where we actually got the experience to um, pitch in front of some um, big wigs. Uh, it was pretty uh, scary at the time, um, but uh, yeah, I was pitching any kind of um, startup idea you had. Um, I think our group, we did some uh, like, uh, it's kind of on uh, pay, pay per byte is what we called it. Like um, we basically rent out um, these data stations uh, for small sets. Um, so they can actually communicate with their uh, with their systems without needing um, you know to invest in in uh, expensive infrastructure. Um, you just rent it out and, and pay for uh, whatever data you, you need to send up and down. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a wonderful experience, and we got great feedback. And um, there was a, a small incentive. Uh, actually, the the like um, you could get money, or uh, you, there was also these like backpacks you could get. Uh, and we we're, were one of the winning teams. Um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we also did a ton of tours of, of um, all the uh, some some of the really wonderful companies um, in in the like Los Angeles area. Um, I think we toured like Boeing, SpaceX, Virgin, um, yeah, uh, and we got to meet a lot of uh, um, wonderful people and, and mentors that were on on the previous page. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know how much of that experience translated to virtual but um i do hope Actually, uh, i have a slide about that oh great uh, perfect. yeah <laughs> we'll but, uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm sure uh, next year um it'll be yeah ho ho hopefully um we'll have another in-person uh, summit and yeah it's just a great experience oh and also um because uh this is like a fellowship program um the network just continues to grow every year um there's always uh previous year's fellows that come to the summit and you get to network with them and um, I mean, not just in the physical summit, but yeah, they all become part of your network, which is really fantastic. Yeah, definitely. So um, talking about the, the virtual summit that we had, you know, obviously it was, I think everybody was, was a little bit disappointed, at least that we couldn't do it in person. Uh, but I think we still all had a really great experience doing it virtually. Um, you know, number of different guest speakers that we got to have and, and really awesome sessions. Um, you can see here, like Lee Rosen at, at SpaceX um, just kind of opened up. Uh, I think a lot of us really liked uh, talking to Dave Thompson, who is the founder and CEO of Orbital ATK, because uh, he was just brutally honest about everything. It was awesome. Um, so yeah, I think it, it worked out uh, really well, but hopefully I think still uh, next year will be uh, in person. Um, and I, I think these are some of the some of these photos are from that in person summit or just kind of the fellows hanging out um, in different places because as Leon said, um, the network really extends, uh, you know, not just past this summit. Um, I've I've gotten the chance to meet so many different um, fellows just and I, I feel like I run into them everywhere in just random places. Um, there's always a, a fellow and I think that'll uh, continue to to be the case in the future. Um, so you're probably wondering, wow, this is a great fellowship. How do I apply or, or can I apply? <laughs> um, so here are the here are the eligibility requirements. Um, so you have to be a current college junior, senior or graduate student, um, obviously interested in the in the commercial space flight industry. Um, and it's this this program is unique that it's mostly comprised of engineers um, and engineering and science degrees. Um, and, and as a result of that, most of the internship experiences are in these engineering uh, kind of roles as well um, and and they're hoping that you'll bring kind of a, a diversity of experience and, and academic interests and i think um you know be, being a csi member and, and kind of all the different projects that we work on here uh definitely helps in in that aspect um the last thing is is you know it's slightly unfortunate but you do need to be a u.s citizen or u.s permanent resident um, that's just because of, of a lot of aerospace companies uh, kind of have these re regulations and it's also kind of a government thing. 
Um, so it's unfortunate. But that being said, if you do kind of satisfy these eligibility requirements, I definitely encourage you to apply. Um, really, really great program. Um, so here are kind of the, the key dates. Um, applications open already, um, and it's actually due pretty soon, November 13th. Um, and it's kind of a little bit of an involved application. We'll, we'll touch on that in a moment, but, um, you know, past the application, uh, a number of people get selected for interviews and then, um, you kind of interview with your potential host companies. And if there's a match, then you can go and, and kind of be selected for the program, um, start your summer internship and then uh, be a part of the summit later in July. Um, yeah, so I think uh, we touched on this a, a little bit. You know, it's this uh, program is still, um, you know, pretty new, uh, but there's been three classes so far. You can see there, Leon was in the first class. Uh, Aaron, who couldn't make it today over here, was in the second class. And then myself, uh, I was in the third class. And so we're hoping, you know, we, we've had one person from Columbia every year uh, in this fellowship. So we're hoping for two or more uh, next year. Let's shoot, let's shoot for the stars. Um, yeah, apply now. Matthew Isaacwood, fellowship.org. Uh, Leon, any, any closing thoughts about MIFP before we move over? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess if you're here, it means you're interested. Uh, if you're not sure, um, I mean, I guess if, if, if you're interested in commercial aerospace, then this is definitely the program for you. Uh, whether you want to graduate and, and work at a, one of the cool um, aerospace companies that are one of the hosts, or um, even if you want to go into your PhD, actually, uh, maybe I can touch more on, on that. Um, since Mill and you've gone into industry, and um, I, I don't know, I, I still found, even though this is targeted towards people uh, interested in commercial space, I found it incredibly valuable still. And, and in fact, um, I've actually pivoted um, not away from space, but to a different field um, that could be an application to space. I've, pivoted towards robotics, um, but uh, a lot of the fellows are actually graduate students um, and they've gone through like the graduate application process um, as well as like getting applying for fellowships um, other than uh, this one, uh, like the NSF GRFP. Um, I got a lot of really wonderful advice from um, all the connections and uh, my peers uh, during that process. But uh, yeah, I guess, uh, no, I think this uh, program just has, uh, the, the strength is really, I think, in, in uh, the connections you'll make. Um, I mean, the companies and, and the mentors, that's obviously the uh, kind of the uh, major appeal, I guess, or, or the, the like, um, it's like the first thing that, that catches your eye, um, all these famous people. But, but I think what's more valuable is, is um, the growing uh, class of fellows that will become part of your network and. Uh, hopefully even like lifelong friends. Um, and yeah, you'll definitely see them around everywhere. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I, I think I've gotten a lot from this program, even um, though I've uh, become more tangentially uh, involved in, in uh, commercial aerospace. Um, so yeah, I would definitely encourage people to apply. And um, if you have questions about the application, you can always email me. I, I think Melanie, you have a slide on our like contact info later. Yeah, we do um, at the end. But uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I guess maybe quick words of advice. Um, I, well, Melanie, you already talked about it. Um, I mean, if you're involved in CSI in um, you know some uh, non-trivial capacity, I think you have a uh, you should have a lot to talk about. And um, yeah, I, I think just passion for commercial airspace is what they want to see. Um, as well as some kind of uh, this vision. Um, it doesn't have to be super specific, but um, at least you can hope, hopefully point to something you'd like to achieve um, in the next five years or something. Um, and yeah, what they really want to see is passion and, and involvement uh, in, in some uh, fashion. Um, and if you can get that across in, on paper, then yeah, I think you're golden. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, the interviews themselves, uh, I guess we can get into that later if, if uh, you're down selected. Um, but yeah, they're pretty actually casual, um, at least in my experience. And yeah, it's just a, a great team of people working there uh, or uh, organizing this fellowship. They're all super incredible people. Definitely, yeah, I agree. I think I, I think Leon put it really well. 
um, that I, I thought I would be drawn in or I was drawn in, I think by like all the cool companies and, and mentors on the list. Um, but actually I didn't expect kind of the incredible people, or I guess I did expect it, but it's, it's exceeded my ex expectations, the incredible people that I've met um, and kind of the things that I've learned from them and just the, my perspectives being changed on a whole suite of things. Um, I think that's, that's really the, the true value, which is a, a really cool thing in the program. So that's the first uh, aerospace uh, program that we wanted to talk about. The second is the Brooke Owens Fellowship. Um, so the two programs are, I guess, like somewhat related there. I mean, they're run by different people, um, but they're kind of similar in, in what they offer. Um, and so the Brooke Owens Fellowship, um, again, uh, offers, you know, paid summer internships, executive mentorship, um, and, and kind of all the same networking and, and summit um, opportunities. Uh, this one is open to undergraduate women and gender minorities of all majors. Um, so not just engineering um, can apply to this. And the deadline is actually coming up really soon. It's October 4th, uh, 2020. So that's why we wanted to make sure to have this info session as soon as possible. Um, application is, is online. Um, and I, we have a, a couple more slides here. So um, Again, so this this program was was created in in the uh, honor of Brooke Owens, who was um, again, you know, really just a, a space industry pioneer. Uh, worked at a number of different really cool companies and, and had a really great uh, impact on you know the industry uh, as a whole. And so this fellowship is is kind of in in her honor. Um, professional development and networking, again, uh, kind of really cool. Um, Kind of perk of, of this fellowship and, and you know you get to meet all the, the different fellows that's that's the photo on the bottom uh, i believe that there's someone is in dc um every year and and i think you know these are some of those photos uh cool meetings that they've had um in that summit um the host institutions are are for the most part i think you know there's a, there's a lot of overlap um uh in the in the companies you know again you know you have your SpaceX's and, and Boeing and uh, Blue Origin and, and a lot of these kind of really cool companies. Um, crucially, I think though that that um, non-US citizens can apply. Uh, there are a few companies uh, within this list that do take non-US citizens. Um, I have a list of those somewhere, but um, that is a difference between the two programs. Um, so yeah, I think we, we touched on all of these full-time internship over the summer um interest in aerospace and and again this can be in any kind of uh, subsector of aerospace not just engineering so science engineering business policy communications education um and here's what the application has um i'm sure you can find a lot more information on the website but just as an overview resume and transcript uh two letters of recommendation and uh three essays or three original works i guess um, and then we, you can submit the application uh, by October 4th, it gets reviewed and then uh, interviews in, in kind of a, a similar progression to the uh, Matthew Isaac Woods Fellowship. Um, and again, you know, host interviews, host company interviews, um, and then final matching and, and selection. A um, couple FAQs. Uh, yeah, you can apply if you're a graduating senior. Um, you don't need to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. Um, there are a few companies. I'll try to find that list somewhere. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think for summer 2020, we're hoping that or summer 2021, uh, we're hoping that most companies, I guess, for both fellowships, will be uh, fully in person. Uh, although I'll say, you know, for my internship at Planet, I was remote, but I still had a really great um, experience. So don't let that be a deterrent. Um, yeah, I think uh, application tips, these are all really great pieces of advice, but I think first and foremost, start early. And by that, I think we mean like start now uh, because uh, the, the application is due October 4th. And I think that's that's been moved up from from previous years. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's, it's pretty early, but um, please don't let kind of the application deadline be a deterrent. Um, I really encourage you for both programs to really try your best to um, kind of get an application in because you know they're they're really really great programs so um uh so obviously I, you know I, I was not a brooke owens uh 
fellow. I tried to do my best here. We were hoping that to get uh, Julia D, who was um, uh, actually one of the CSI co-founders to, to come, but she's, she's pretty busy right now, uh, unfortunately. So if you have questions, um, you know, we'll do our best to kind of answer them here. Uh, but you can also go to this Ask a Brookie um, kind of website there at the bottom. You can email outreach at brookowensfellowship.org. Um, there's also a Q&A info session specifically for the Brook Owens Fellowship tonight at 9 p.m. I think I have a link somewhere to the Zoom. There's also an applicant Slack. So there's a lot of different places to go and get your, your questions answered. Um, so please don't hesitate uh, to do that. Cool. Okay, I, I did a lot of talking. Leon, do you want to take over and talk about the differences between the two programs? Ooh, uh, I am not super familiar with the Brook Owens Fellowship program. So to be honest, I would just be reading through this slide deck. Uh, I don't know if that's valuable, but yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll touch on them. So I think actually we we touched on them all pretty much already. Anyway, uh, for the MIFP, you got to be a U.S. citizen or a junior and senior, or sorry, and a junior or senior or grad student pursuing a STEM degree. Um, for Brook Owens Fellowship, uh, you can be a non-U.S. citizen, and they're looking for uh, undergrads and women or gender minorities there. Um, and the deadlines are there. I think the applications are, are relatively similar in kind of their composition, but you know, you definitely will be, if you're, if you're applying to both, um, focusing on each application uh, individually. Cool, so um, here are all the fellows that we've had uh, from Columbia. Uh, obviously me, that's me, uh, Milan and Anand. Uh, I worked at Planet and uh, did, kind of a bunch of things at CSI. And then Leon there, you can see uh, he was 2018 MIFP at LTA um, and also did a number of different things in, in CSI. I think all the people on this list uh, are happy to be contacted about um, the fellowship program. Some people are pretty busy, so just keep that in mind um, and try to be respectful. For me personally, I'm trying to open myself up as much as possible to CSI uh, members. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we had. Um, oh yeah, so uh, I think we'll send out this this form, uh, Google form here. Um, I think both programs just kind of want a list of, of who's applying and if you're interested. Um, so either like, I don't know, take a screenshot or just uh, we'll put that in like the general or forms channel. Uh, and then here are the two links to the um, applicant slack and the zoom session actually now that i'm looking at this we're gonna have to send these links out also because this doesn't uh, hyperlink actually doesn't do anything for you um so we'll send this presentation out as well um i think with that might as well open it up to any questions that people have 